Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, Matt Gates is getting primaried. Um, in his uh, district in Florida, uh, a former U.S. Navy captain by the name of Aaron Dimmick is uh, has filed paperwork to challenge Gates in that district. Um, now, mind you, that district, according to this article from AP News, has more than 93,000 veterans that live in the area because it's home to the Pensacola Naval Air Station. So if he can get a significant portion of veterans and military votes, that could really undercut Matt Gates's uh, support in a primary election. Uh, Gates posted on his social media platform uh, saying McCarthy was going to put up a puppet against him and referred to uh, his opponent as a woke Toby, Toby Flenderson. Now, I don't watch The Office, but according to this, Tony, Tony Flenderson's a human resources director who's often bullied in the show. So Gates is being arrogant, doesn't think he has anything to worry about. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's wrong. Let's ask the cards and find out for entertainment purposes only. Tell me the energy around this new um, opponent uh, to Matt Gates. His name again is Aaron Dimmick. Two of Pentacles. Um, he's okay. First off, he has um, he does have a campaign fundraiser who worked for um, the preferred pack that Kevin McCarthy uh, liked to support his candidates with. So he's got he's got a good start with setting up a uh, campaign. The uh, by the way, the primary is in August, so he's got a uh, three months and change to to get up and running and get his name out there and and get recognized. Um, so you know he's got he's got money and name recognition are things he has to worry about. But at the same time, I look at the two of coins. It's like you know. You, now you have a choice. You know you don't like Matt Gates. Well, maybe maybe this new guy here might be worth it. I don't want to say the lesser of two evils because I don't know that Aaron Dimmick is evil. Crossed with the Four of Cups, there is a in a lover's card underneath it. I think this this primary is kind of an appeal to voters. Like, who's representing your values? Is your representative Matt Gates? is he really representing your values or his values? Are you tired of the tumultuous? <laughs> it's funny because he's a former Navy guy and here's the Navy ships in the background here. You know, is Gates the answer to your problems? You know, he got rid of McCarthy and caused all sorts of turmoil. And, you know, here's, here's an option. You know, you don't have to vote for Matt Gates. You could vote for this other guy. You could vote for me, Aaron uh, Dimmick. And you have a choice. You have a real choice here. That's not some FedEx guy. This is a former military guy. In the past, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Um, Matt Gates has a big, big money lead. I'm assuming that Gates' district is well off. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm going to guess it is. Um... And, you know, again, he did, you know, there's, there's money involved in pedigree. Matt Gates has a pedigree with uh, politics because his father was involved in politics. He's also got a lot of money behind him. I don't think this is really telling me about much about Mr. Dimmick other than he has a treasurer who's used to um, operating packs with lots of money. Can he bring money in? That's going to be a problem with uh, the GOP because right now Trump is is diverting all the money to him so do not expect the rnc to give you any money because there is no rnc it's now the tnc the trump national committee that is layered over the top so money may be an issue uh in this campaign overarching energy is the knight of wands um he's gonna have to uh he's going to run a very careful well planned out campaign Part of, I think part of what he, his strategy is going to be is, I'm a planner and a doer. I have a plan and I execute my plan. This is not a ace. This is not a knight of swords charging off half cocked like Matt Gates might do. This guy's trying to show he's mature, has a plan, 
and knows how to execute a plan. <clears throat> Overarching energy is the Three of Pentacles. You know, Matt Gates has that ethics uh, probe that's going on against him. And we haven't heard about this yet. I'm wondering if McCarthy and his uh, allies are planning on releasing that probe prior to the primaries. You know, this is backroom dealings here and negotiations going on. Because if they can release that and show that Matt Gates is uh, uh, doing things he shouldn't be doing with underaged women, you need a backup plan. You need to give somebody the lesser of two evils. I keep, again, I keep looking at that card as a lesser of two evils cards type of thing. Lesson to be learned. <laughs> While Matt Gates is uh, using his WhatsApp and uh, his Venmo to pay for these poor starving college students, uh, this other guy saying, hey, I've got a plan. I can work with people. I can improve your lives, the lives of veterans and the lives of uh, servicemen in this area type thing. So he's, this guy's going to go through and basically say what he can do that will enrich the lives of folks in his district. But I also think there's going to be um, uh, some coordination, shall we say, with regards to Matt Gates's uh, ethics and his uh, use of money in that ethics. Outcome is the magician. That's a good card. Manifestation. He's got a real chance here. He has got a real chance at this. Much better than Matt Gates has got. And that might explain the lover's card because underneath it all, Gates and his relationships could pay, could, especially if you got this overarching it, this could play a big role. Four of Cups, do you really want to send this guy back again? The guy who got rid of McCarthy and started this whole circus. You have a choice in the matter. So, Matt Gates might have a little bit to worry about here. Maybe more than a little bit to worry about. I'll be curious to see how, um, uh, how Aaron Dimmick uh, fundraises. But, you know, he, you better get going because <laughs> you don't have much time left. And Gates is the incumbent and he's got name recognition. Okay. Um, so, Matt Gates. Uh, you know, was very dismissive of this challenge, this primary challenge coming up. Uh, how is he? How is he really feeling about it? Or give me the energy around Matt Gates when it comes to this re-election. Also knowing that there's an ethics investigation going on with him, and that could play a part in it. The little overlay there. Okay, Matt Gates, the upcoming. August primary in his district in Florida. What's the energy around Matt Gates as he considers, contemplates, and otherwise is dealing with this? Five of Pentacles being tossed out in the cold. I don't think this is money drying up. I think this is Matt Gates like being kicked out. This is not good. This is not good for Mac if you're a big Mac Gates fan here. But working, it's like, you know, it's like if he was kicked out of the out of the Republican Party or kicked out of the House, but he's still working on things. Wasn't he talking about not running for re-election and then like going for like a different post like governor or something like that? I guess he changed his mind, but I seem to recall that. What's underneath it? All sorts of money here, huh? Got the five, the seven, and the eight of coins. He's looking at his war chest, wondering if he has enough. <laughs> There's a fear that he doesn't have enough money and he has to keep making money. I think what it is is that I think he knows his days in Congress are numbered and he needs to get all the money all the value out of it that he can and before you know he does something else and he's doing his evaluation on whatever that something else is 
maybe it's that whole thing that since DeSantis, uh, his campaign fell apart, he doesn't feel the need to run for the governorship. You know what I mean? Maybe that's what was driving this before. But he's all worried about money. In the past, we got the Seven of Swords. He's... You know, we're talking about these these girls here, but um, he's been he's been crooked. He's doing stuff. He, you know, um, and yeah, I know he's he's married, but the, you know, in, in relationship cards, the seven of, the seven of swords is my fooling around or swinging card. So that could be going on. This could also be you know, since we have so much money here, maybe Matt's fingers aren't. Uh, Maybe his finger's a little sticky when it comes to the money. You know, te he maybe teach Sarah Huckabee Sanders a few things there about that. But there's some theft, deception going on that's happened in the past. Again, this could lead to that ethics committee ruling. Or even just his sneaky nature of what he did to McCarthy. But yeah, there's a lot of untrustworthiness with this guy. Let's put it that way. His current situation is the Ten of Wands. He's stressed out. That story that McCarthy had shared about, uh, you know, Gates asking him to get him out of this ethical uh, investigation. I believe McCarthy's telling the truth on that. I believe Gates did ask him to do that. And right now he's bearing a heavy, heavy load. He's got some culpability going on there. Remember, he's also one of the guys that asked for a full pardon from President Trump and didn't get one. Overarching... Oh, no. Oh, overarching energy is the hanged man. Now, this on the high energy, this is looking at things in a new light. The low energy is the sacrificial lamb. Um, I think he feels like he's going to be sacrificed by the GOP. They're going to boot him out. This ethics thing... He's going to go the way of George Santos here with this ethics committee type thing. They're going to, I think they're going to boot him out. And I think he thinks they're going to boot him out. Lesson to be learned is the Queen of Wands. Well, I doubt it's Marjorie Taylor Greene that's going to be the one who does it. Um, the Queen of Wands, now again, he fooled around with a lot of young women who were children at the time and are adults now. It's action, wisdom. It's almost like, you know, if you see this coming, you should take action while you still have the ability to take action. Don't, no, don't be a martyr. No, if, to me, it would seem weaker if the ethics committee came out and um, booted him out and then drag him to a full vote and have them have him voted out. To me, that would be kind of humiliating and not maybe the path you want to go down. So maybe what you want to do is stay a couple of steps in front of that. No, don't run for re-election. Get out of there and... Uh, you know, find some excuse to save some face. Uh, what's going on with it? I don't know. Is this this could also just be the actions of women, either with women or women are bringing against him, are going to be his undoing. It could be something as simple as that too. But the outcome is the Eight of Cups, him leaving, him going away. Um, either this. Yeah, he, he doesn't think he has a good chance of getting reelected, either because of this ethics thing or this primary. I think this primary is just the GOP saying, messaging to him like, your day's, your day's coming, your time is up, you should just walk because this other guy's going to get in there. <laughs> Grab as much money as you can. Mm. I think Matt Gates is not going to be around in 2025 let's <laughs> ask it flat out well, i guess there's a couple questions we go to um let's do a challenge reading uh for the august primary 
after the August primary has been decided in Florida. How is Matt Gates on my left, my incumbent feeling, versus um, uh, Aaron Dimmick on my right? All right. Do a little overhand shuffle. Post August GOP primaries in Florida. Gates versus Dimmick. I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right. I'm probably butchering it. D I M M O C K. Dimock. 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 Maybe he's French. All right, let's see. All right, what's going to be the signifier of this challenge reading? King of Swords. Ooh. <laughs> now, the King of Swords, for those who are newer to the channel, this is my Jack Smith card. But, you know, you could think of it as district attorneys or the law. It's a real harsh judgment. Just very matter of fact, here we go. <laughs> There's no emotion in this. And what's underneath it? It's, 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 a, it's the deals in the back room, the back room deals going on. And remember, we saw this card come up for Mr. Dimmock here. So, Matt Gates, Page of Swords, Young Women. Spies in the camp messaging about women, young women. Four swords, taking a break. Chariot, things moving on. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Where's Marjorie Taylor Greene? Maybe there's a new, maybe she's got a new boyfriend in the works here. Uh, big actions being taken. Um, I think... He's got young women problem. The investigation, the ethics investigation, as well as, well, I guess the FBI stopped their investigation of women, but the House kept their investigation going on. Um, we haven't heard the results, but it could be something that sends him into early retirement. There's some big action going on here with regards to this in this case moving forward. So I not great cards for Matt Gates come post August election. Ah <laughs> Queen of Wands. Maybe this is what that outcome, you know, the lesson that he learned was the Queen of Wands. He's referring to this guy as uh, the bullied HR director, but maybe the bullied HR director is the lesson to be learned. You know, this is somebody who conducts himself as a professional. King of Wands underneath. Four of Cups, that came up. You know, it's kind of like the lesser two, the lesser of two evils, or hey, maybe we should try something different for a change. And the lovers card, good lord, these three cards, these cards have come up before. Um, yeah. Um, now it could be that he's up there, and you know, he doesn't get it. It's like, ah, oh, you know, you didn't quite get there. Um, but given this, given this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this uh, way more. You've got the lovers card versus the chariot. He's got no aces, but he's got a king. I, I'm liking Aaron's chances. I'm liking Aaron's chances a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Final winner card here. The Hermit, Ace of Swords. Somebody, you know, finding a different path, retreating versus somebody who's victorious in leading the charge. I do think that Matt Gates is not going to win his primary. I'll have to throw on that again as we get closer to it. But the way the energy is looking right now, mm -mm. Matt Gates looks like he's going to go through some things. But I'm not going to leave this reading just yet because I want to find out the things that he's going to go through. I specifically want to ask about that ethics investigation. Does that ethics investigation cause the undoing of Matt Gates? Now, I should ask, will it cause the undoing of Matt Gates before August? Just to get a sense of timing before the primaries. Because I suspect it will be his undoing regardless. I'm kind of loading the deck, if you know what I mean. Oh, I see. <laughs> give myself plausible deniability. Oh, I got it wrong. But look, it did say it was going to be his undoing. <laughs> Does that count as a win? So let's see. Will the, uh, will the ethics investigation results be released?
prior to the primaries? Will it impact the primaries? <laughs> the sun card just popped up. <laughs> That's a good card to have up there. This card wanted to stay on top. We'll just stop here. Queen of Pentacles, money and women. That sounds like it. Young, <laughs> young women. <laughs> money, who, you know, offering of money and who's the money, who's money, the, uh, whose lap it landed in, in the Ace of Wands, which is under that Matt Gates card here, the big push, you know, holding on to your bastone in your hand there. I'm not liking this for Matt Gates. <sighs> trying to keep, you know, four of, uh, the four of coins in the past. Trying to keep things locked down. Trying to keep everything secret. Not let people know where this money came from. Secrets of the money. <sighs> Current situation is a star card. Now, the girl who was under 18 years old at the time, the one who is not a reliable witness, just like Joel Greenberg is not a reliable witness, she went into the adult film industry. So it's going to involve this girl who was under 18 years old at the time that he's been trying to keep this down. <laughs> Overarching energy is the Nine of Cups. Now this would be hopes, wishes, dreams fulfilled. It's also on the lower energy known as the Smug Merchant. And I wouldn't call Matt Gates this. This is McCarthy through and through. Over it all is McCarthy just sitting there laughing. Like, you know, I just I just wanted you to know. You know, <laughs> McCarthy, I imagine, can be subtle. In this case, he doesn't want to have an ounce of subtleness. He wants to be as subtle as a as a big stick. So that stick card that was in uh, Matt Getz's challenge reading, I think that was McCarthy bringing out the beatdown stick. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd see a reading where you'd be rooting for McCarthy? Huh? <laughs> There's a first. <laughs> oh, the messaging is going to come fast and furious, too. Lesson to be learned. It comes fast. It's going to be right, it's in eight, so that's also August is, the, is uh, the eighth month. So expect that the messaging about this investigation is going to come out right before the primaries, and it's going to come out quick. Mm. And now, and this card's come up multiple times, and now the voters get to make their choice, and maybe it's time to say, mm, I'm not so sure about Matt Gates. Maybe I should try something different this time. A different beverage to drink. Some Navy Grog. I, I really think Matt Gates is not going to... He's not going to survive this primary. I think Kevin McCarthy gets his awaited revenge. I won't say long-awaited, but he gets his awaited revenge. And I'm here for that. <laughs> okay. One last one, right? That was going to be the last one, but now that I just said it, how's McCarthy feeling <laughs> post uh, post uh, primaries? How's McCarthy feeling about this? Is McCarthy behind all this? Is McCarthy going to? Is he really the smug merchant? Is he got this thing? Is he just looking forward to being a thorn in Matt Gates' side? Again, this is not this is not one of those things where you know. McCarthy's going to engage in plausible deniability and, you know, just sort of like, I don't know. I don't know how that all happened. You no, know, I think he's just going to mug it up. Just, just smirk and sneer in this guy's face because, you know, that's the only, it's like, that's the only thing that Matt Gates would really understand. You know what I mean? He's not as, you know, Gates isn't as basic as Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene is the ace of clubs, is the ace of clubs and the five of clubs all day and twice on Sundays, you know? How's McCarthy feeling about uh, the post uh, primary? Okay, keeping things down low. Maybe he's not gonna do it. Oh, there he is! Only one card off, here we go. Oh, you know, it's kind of one of those things like, you know, you should have kept your sh to yourself. 
you had to go and wake up my worst part. Oh, God, he manifests this. He absolutely did this. You did this to me. I'm returning the favor, you son of a... Oh, here's, here's your cup of maggoteers to drink out of. Don't F with me next time. <laughs> the girls are fighting. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to be really sad if this doesn't come to pass because this reading has just really fallen together nicely. Not that I'm wishing horrible things for Matt. Okay, maybe I am. Um, but uh, he's just awful. And it's nice to see somebody get their comeuppance when they've acted in an awful fashion. And I'm not saying anything great about McCarthy. <laughs> Far from it. He's terrible too. But Matt Gates is just a different type of terrible. We'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your likes, shares, comments, everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so our video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks discovering this channel recently or for the first time, welcome to the channel. I hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next reading. Take care.